Today, I'm going to show you how to use pivot table in Microsoft Excel. Pivot table helps you to summarize large amounts of data, making it easier to analyze and explore your data. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, there are four categories of data, and those are month, fruits, area, and sales. And to do the pivot table, you have to block all of your data first by pressing Ctrl plus A, like this, and then go to insert and choose pivot table. And your data range will appear here automatically, and you can choose where to place your pivot table. And for this worksheet, let's choose this existing worksheet in G4 and H4 cells. After you're done, click on OK. And your pivot table will appear like this. And as you can see here on the right, there are four field names because it refers to our data set. Now let's try to put month in column by dragging it down like this. It'll automatically appear in a column like this. And there are only three months, which are March, April, and May because it's already summarized. Next, let's put fruits in rows. It will also appear in rows like this and there are only three fruits because we have only three fruits in our data. And next, let's put sales in values because we want to see the values and put area in filters. And your pivot table is ready. Here's how to read the table. The sales of apple on March was this much and then it goes the same way for mango and strawberry as well as the month. The grand total in rows is the grand total of one kind of fruit in three months, and the grand total in columns is the grand total of all kind of fruits per month. Also, all the grand totals are from all areas. But what if you want to see the apple only? It's easy, you can click this button and choose apple. This is called the filter button, and there you have it, your apple data. And if you want to see the mango as well, you can click on mango. It will show up automatically like this. And if you want to see the sales results in one area, you can click this arrow button in area and choose the area that you want to check the sales result. And there you have it, your apple and mango data from one area only, Malaysia. And if you want to sort your data alphabetically, you can click this arrow button again and just ascending to sort your data from A to Z and just descending to sort your data from Z to A. And your data will automatically change like this. And if you want to remove your data names from your pivot table fields, you can just simply tick off the box from your pivot table fields like this. And if you want to move it, you don't have to tick off the box, you can just simply drag them up like this. And if you only want to see the values, you can put all of your data and filters and you can choose the category that you want to check out by clicking the arrow button. And after your pivot table looks like this, let's click this arrow button on month and choose April. And for fruits, let's choose the strawberry. And for the area, let's choose Singapore. And there you have it, sum of sales of strawberry on April in Singapore is 7,000 Singapore dollars. Also, your data is summarized perfectly. Don't forget to practice it at home. If this video likes, comment if you have any questions and share it with your friends if you find this video helpful. Also, subscribe to this channel for more video tutorials like this. See you in another video!